everybody. I'm just sitting out here in my yard and enjoying the nice spring weather and all my pretty flowers. I was just reading one of my favorite verses. Would you like to read it with me? But you know what? Let's talk to God first. All right, let's fold our hands and pray. Dear God, good morning. We're so glad that you're here with us today. Please help us learn so much about you. Help us be listening, opening our minds and our ears and our hearts to everything you have to tell us today. We love you, God. Amen. Well, I was reading, like I said, one of my favorite verses. It's in Philippians, Philippians 4, verse 6. And it says, don't worry about anything, but pray about everything. Hmm, don't worry. Um, worry is kind of like being afraid, but kind of like being a little afraid. In fact, the dictionary tells us that worry is being a little bit afraid about things that might happen. So the Bible tells us don't worry. That's really hard to do because I do worry. And when I worry, like my stomach feels funny, not a good funny, a bad funny, kind of feels a little sick. And when I worry too much, then my head starts to hurt sometimes too, or I feel hot. Sometimes I get kind of cranky. But Jesus tells us and teaches us not to worry too. In the Bible, he says, don't worry. And if he tells us, don't worry, he's going to also help us not worry. So in Matthew, it says, Jesus tells us, that is why I tell you not to worry about everyday life, whether you have enough to eat or to drink or enough clothes to wear. Look at the birds. Oh my goodness, I have a friend here to show you today, and she came in to teach us about worry today. So, how about if we go spend a little bit of time following Marilyn around? That's Marilyn, by the way, my peahen. And we will follow Marilyn around and see how she teaches us about not worrying. How's that Marilyn, huh? Hi, sweet girl. You say hi to the kids? Yeah. So Marilyn flew in about five years ago, and she decided she liked it, so she stayed. So you can see that she doesn't have the pretty tail feathers. The fancy tail feathers, I should say. I think she's a beautiful color. But she doesn't have all those fancy tail feathers like the males have, like the boys have. And you can see how big she is. There's my cat Carly. And she is bigger than Carly. Her eggs won't hatch because we don't have a daddy peacock. So she'll just stay sitting for months if we don't let her hatch out a chick because she wants a chick. And so instead, we put chicken eggs under her, and then she hatches out a baby chick or two, and those are like her babies. They grow up into chickens, but she mothers them and takes care of them and shows them what to eat and what not to eat. And she protects them. If the other chickens get too close or a cat gets too close, she'll flip up her feathers and shake them around. And then she's hiding under the tree. Can you see her in there? If you look really carefully, do you see her? There she is. She's moving around in there. She likes to eat plants and bugs and chicken food and cat food. So that's actually why she came up here tonight. She wanted some cat food. And then she was getting a drink. 
So that's my peacock Marilyn. She's actually called a peahen because she's a girl. But peahen sounds kind of funny. We usually just call boys and girls peacocks. So that is Marilyn. Let's see if she might come out again if I back up just a little bit. She's very shy of people. She doesn't like us to get too close. If you look, you can see her there. Oh, there she is again. Do you see those beautiful colors she has on her neck? And look at those beautiful brown colors that she has. All that pretty brown. So she's deciding whether she wants to eat some of the orange leaves right now. She's posing for you. And can you see her little feathers on her head there too? And then look at her big feet. She has feet like a chicken has, but they're a lot bigger. So normally she lives out around by her chickens and then she flies in and out. I'll see if I can get a video of her flying too because that's really fun to see her fly. And at night she nests up in one of our really big tall trees. We have really big tall trees out here. I'll show you here. Look at how tall those trees are. Whoa! Those are called eucalyptus trees. And they're about 110 feet tall. And peacocks like to live in places with tall trees because then they can nest up in those and get away from anybody who might want to hurt them. So that's probably why she came here. She saw all our big tall trees. Sometimes we get herons and egrets making nests out here too. Big egrets are those big white birds and then herons are big gray birds. We have a canal not too far from here so they like to go down there and eat fish and frogs and things out of that canal and then they'll fly up here into our trees. We also get lots of hawks out here and we have baby hawks sometimes in the trees too and we've also had a woodpecker and he is trying to peck holes in the outside of our house that's not something we really want so anyway and there's mr andreas's work truck and see if we can see the mountains today oh just a teeny tiny bit can you see those we couldn't see it the other day and then more look at all those flowers i told you miss sherry loves flowers i hope you liked learning a little bit more about marilyn wasn't that fun that she showed up so we could learn more about that well let's go back to our bible verse again and we'll read past that part matthew 6 verses 25 through 30 jesus says that is why i tell you not to worry about everyday life whether you have enough to eat or to drink or enough clothes to wear, look at the birds. They don't plant or harvest or f store food in barns. Did you see Marilyn riding a tractor to plant her seeds? Did you see her climbing a ladder to try and pick some fruit and store it away for another day? No, because every day she trusts that God will provide her with the food she needs. They don't plant or harvest or store food in barns, for your heavenly Father, that's God, feeds them. And aren't you much more valuable to him than birds? He also talks about flowers here, and you know how Miss Sherry loves her flowers. Jesus says, and why worry about what you're going to wear? Look at the lilies of the field, or any of the flowers, and how they grow. They don't work or make their clothing or use sewing machines. Yet King Solomon in all his glory was not dressed as beautifully as the flowers. And if God cares so wonderfully for flowers that are here today and gone tomorrow, he will certainly care for you. And the Bible tells us so many other places. God cares for you. Bible verse time. Today we're going to be learning Philippians 4, verse 6. Can you say that big word with me? Philippians. That's kind of a funny word, isn't it? Philippians. Sounds funny. It was a group of people that Paul was writing to. 
Philippians 4, verse 6 says, Don't worry about anything. Pray about everything. I know you want to do that with me. Let's try that again. Ready? Philippians 4, verse 6 says, Don't worry about anything. Pray about everything. Let's do that again. Ready? Don't worry about anything. Pray about everything. All right, you got all those words? Let's try that one more time. Philippians 4 verse 6 says, Don't worry about anything. Pray about everything. Those were some great words. And we are now going to make a little art project to remind us all those things that God tells us about not worrying. So if you have a piece of paper and you have some markers in some different colors, you can make a picture to help you remember our lesson today and all of Jesus' great words that he tells us. So I'm just going to pick a color out of here. Ooh, this one's my favorite. I love aqua. And you just trace around your hand like this. Now, some of you might have done this before and made it into a hand turkey. Well, today, guess what we're going to make it into? Not a turkey, but we're going to make it into a hand peacock. So, here's the head, and here are the feathers, and she'll need some feet down here. Or him, you can make a boy peacock with all those pretty colored feathers if you want to make a girl peacock. She had um, brownish feathers, but you can make pretty colors too. And then she'll need some eyes, or he will need some eyes. Some eyes there. And then you can color all of these feathers, beautiful colors. You can use all those beautiful colors that God made for us. So you can do that on all of those. And then the peacocks have those really funny little feathers on their head. And so you can put those little ones here and then draw some little circles like this. That's kind of what their head feathers look like. And so there you can add all those beautiful colors to that. And then at the very top, I'm going to write a word to help me remember that Bible verse today. I'm going to write the letter P R A Y. And I'm going to put an exclamation mark. That's an excited mark. And it says, pray. That will remind me to pray to my Heavenly Father about everything because he promises to take care of us. He even sent Jesus, his only son, to die and take away all of our sins. And then Jesus came back alive again. And because he took away all of our sins, we can live as friends with God forever here on this earth and in heaven. That's a wonderful thing to remember. And I know if I can trust God for that, I can trust him for everything. So here's my reminder, and I'd love to see all of your hand peacocks. I think I'm going to even draw some flowers on here to remind me what God tells us about the flowers, too. That'll be fun. Well, I finished my picture. It reminds me that I can pray. It reminds me of Jesus' words that say we don't need to worry because our Heavenly Father cares for us so much. He cared so much. He sent us Jesus to take away all of our sins. And this says I can pray, so let's pray. You ready? Let's fold our hands, bow your heads, close your eyes.
And remember that you can talk to Jesus about anything that's on your heart, anything you might be worried about. Don't worry. Pray about everything. Dear Jesus, thank you for loving us so much. Thank you for teaching us that we don't need to worry, that you loved us so much. You even died for us so that you could take away all of our sins. If you love us that much, we know that you care for us and we can trust you with everything. Dear God, please be with our families. Please be with everyone we love. Please be with our friends and people that we may not be able to see right now. Help us not to worry, God. Help us remember that we don't have to worry about anything because you take such good care of us. Help us remember to pray about everything. We love you so much, God. Thank you. Amen. Hey, everybody. It was so great to spend today with you again and with Marilyn. You guys have a great week. Remember, don't worry about anything. Pray about everything. I'll see you soon. Have a wonderful week. And always remember that God is watching over you. God is watching over you. Watching over you. Watching over you.